Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Look, we're, we're back into... Yeah, that's because there's a poop load of codes here that I've got to go through. Well, I'm not going to put them all in, but I'll at least put them up on the screen at the end. But first, I'm going to start with the bottles bonus type codes. Like, yeah, you're going gonna to have to start uh, doing some typing here. <laughs> So, yeah, this is going to take quite a good while here, and thus I'm definitely going to be using a bunch of cuts along the way. But for the sake of this very first one, I'm just going to show you it in its entirety because these codes are now active, and I just like to show you how that thing reacts and where is the U? The, oh, wait, I was, I was right next to it. I am stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and then O N E. Heck yeah! Oh no! <laughs> yes, we got a big head, literally, and you have to cancel it. You just gotta go. And oh, oh, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna be putting in bonus so many times here. I'll at least have that one memorized. I I guess. <laughs> Uh huh. You. S. And there we go. I reverted back to normal. But. There's a bunch of codes. More to put in here. So let's put in bottles bonus too. Remember, no spaces. Oh, wait, wait, what? That didn't register? I guess I have to leave and then come back in to reset the thing. Which is gonna make it even more annoying because I've gotta destroy the crab and whatnot every time I come back in. Oh wait, I don't! I don't! Oh, that's good news! <laughs> and letter O. Oh, big hands and feet! <laughs> it just looks so ridiculous because of the humongous polygons. But yep, you can change the appearance using these codes. So what are the other codes like? And two E's for the road. We've got... Big Kazooie! <laughs> yep, regular banjo, Big Kazooie basically is the name of the game with this code. Well, at the very least, I have memorized where the first bottle's bonus little letters are. Anyway, yeah, this is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> it's like a... It's like a hot dog with regular Kazooie. Look at this. This is just... Uh, I can't really, like, yeah, that's it's sad, and I, I can't get out of, oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my controller there for a second, but yeah, it is Hot Dog Benjo! There's letter F, I'm doing letter S, so of course I'm going to be switching to the next set here, and V, E, bottles bonus 5, it's like hot dog combined with the big limb thing, regular kazooie though. <laughs> I get the feeling that you'll know what the big bottles bonus is, but uh, you know, just to be sure that you know, I'll just type in the last couple of bits here, and hello big bottles bonus, everything is humongous, woo woo woo! Are you ready to see what wishy-washy banjo is? Are you ready? Because this one's my favorite. Behold a mumbo transformation! <laughs> yes, we are officially the washing machine. Yes, but we've got all of our moves, even though it doesn't look like we do. <laughs> because there's no Kazooie, we've got... Yeah, it's it's uh, pretty ridiculous looking, but I like it. <laughs> I mean, you don't really need to see how your character looks when they do their move in order for you to do their move or anything like that, as you can tell. So that, that's kind of why I like it. It's very feel-based and ridiculous at the same time, because it's... It's most certainly playable in every single way. Look at those sad, sad eyes. <laughs> All right, now that I got this transformation in effect, there are seven especially secret codes from a thingajigger called the Stop and Swap. Now, I'm gonna put them up on the screen here while I explain this. Basically, you enter the word cheat, 
and then you enter the code itself. I put spaces in between them just so it's easier to read. Uh, but basically, these will unlock seven special things at seven special locations. And yeah, so they might take you quite a while to put in. And it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, let's put in the first cheat here, and I'll, I'll continue on explaining. Oh, look at that! Did you notice that nothing happened? Well, actually, I'll, I'll do, this, do this one more time here. But the, if you'll notice that nothing will happen when you slam any of the, the letters when you're entering these codes. So, you don't really know if you're doing these right. Well, I guess there's that sound, but... <laughs> so I'm gonna put... H... Oh, where is... E... A... And the last Kalmu... Behold! Now, I'm gonna put it the codes in that you've seen in order. Uh, I'll flash them up on the screen again, I guess. And uh, then I'll show you the cutscene of whatever these thingajiggers unlocked. Oh, there we go. That was the thing that, uh, after you put in cheats, you can't actually get any confirmation from the letters in any sort of way whatsoever. So just pay attention very closely to the words and do not lose track of where you are. And final letter. That should do something. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. Shark Food Island is out of the water. Now, What's the point of this? I mean, what are all these codes for that you've seen? Well, as I was saying, this is a part of a thing called Stop and Swap. This was never really implemented as it was supposed to be implemented. It was supposed to be as a thing that you go and transfer the items and whatnot that you got here over to Banjo-Tooie, but because of the way that they changed the N64... Listen to the music. <laughs> But because of the way they changed the N64 uh, back in 1999, it kind of, kind of uh, messed with their whole plan regarding these things. In that, originally the N64, when you would pull out a cartridge, it would retain memory of the game for about 10 seconds. Well, that new version of the N64 only retained it for about one second. So you wouldn't really be able to pull this off on the new N64, and thus this uh, whole idea went the way of the Dodo, but it- oh jeez, that was close. But it is interesting that these things exist at all, and that- see, what they wanted you to do was that you were supposed to actually swap the cartridges while the system was on during that 10 second time frame. And yeah, that sounds pretty risky to do, and that's- also probably why it uh, got scrapped, because he found this probably a bad idea, <laughs> but it was mainly the uh, N64 thing. But uh, yeah, so, so you grab one of this, and it was like, ooh, an egg. I'm sure I'll find a use for this somewhere. Well, they did sort of kind of implement these things in Banjo-Tooie, because once they found out this wouldn't work, they implemented the eggs and... Uh, other things, I guess you could say, in a different game, a different, I mean, uh, in Banjo-Tooie in a different way. Now, if I were to go, um, there is, oh, I have to go all the way to the right side, right, right, right. Uh, there's gonna be another menu type thing added to, there it is, stop and swap. There are six eggs and uh, one ice key. Remember that ice key? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But since this thing never really panned out, well, it's basically never going to happen the way that they planned it. So I'm basically going to be showing you these areas and collecting these eggs and the key just because. <laughs> I mean, why not? It sounds like a fun thing to do to show you the areas that are uh, not very well traveled and whatnot. All right, now let's do the ice key cheat, shall we? Two E's and this should do it. 
Uh, by the way, if you never, if you don't see the cutscene happen after you uh, enter the code in, you did something wrong in with the code. You're gonna have to do it all the way over from the very beginning. And these codes are long, so you don't really want to do that, do you? I don't think you do. <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm not gonna go directly and get that ice key right now. I'm gonna put in the other five codes and then I'm gonna go and run around the worlds and collect the eggs and ice key and stuff like that. So yeah, let's let's enter the other five codes in by resetting this area each time. <laughs> by the way, I presume that the codes that you're getting from these like that that you're getting from me basically I assume that what they intended on doing was give you the codes in Tui for you to boot up Kazooie <laughs> You know somewhere in the game and then come back You know count do the stop and swap thing to get the eggs and key over to Tui and then yeah do whatever they wanted you to do with them but anyway I finished off the desert door that was where Gobi was if you recall correctly that is now open and there's a whole other well it's not a big area but there's a whole other area we have not seen of Gobi's valley yet by the way you probably noticed how slow and carefully I was entering these cheats well that's because of the whole you know, you can't really tell where exactly you are in the cheats by any sort of s sound or anything like that. So you've got to absolutely make sure that you are doing this right so that you don't have to redo it because you don't want to redo it from the start because that would really suck. So there's an egg above Logo now. <laughs> Alright, let's enter the last three cheats. One more slam ought to do it. And remember that, uh, m yeah, metal boarded up barrel in the basement of Mad Mon Monster Mansion? It's open now! Two more codes, two more letters, and the next spot should be revealed! Yup, in the sin, the captain's cabin. <laughs> Just a nice napping place for an egg, I, I guess. <laughs> and the last code. Thank Arceus, because that stinker lasts forever. <laughs> I mean, it takes forever, I should say, to do. So, now that I got all the codes active, remember Nabnuts' table is in winter, by the way. Uh, I can see, see that his girlfriend was hanging out there, and yeah. So, now I'm going to go from location to location and collect those eggs one by one. So, I'll see you there. Flying washing machine! <laughs> So yeah, of course we gotta go over to Ye Ol Walrus, because that is where the ice key was. I just thought I would fly, just to show you how flight works as a washing machine. And uh, we don't have any sort of special music going on here. No, I'm not a bear, I'm a washing machine! No, I'm harmless! I just wanna do your clothes! Well, if you wore clothes. <laughs> Alright, so... There's the music! There's the music! Woo! Oh yeah! Oh, definitely. A later game, maybe. A later game, maybe. Wait a second, I just noticed something. Huh! You're immune to... ground hazards in this transform state. I thought it was just like being banjo banjo, you know, like regular banjo and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you had all the moves, but it looks like you've got a little extra enhancement that I totally didn't know about. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. Anyway, um, just as a little reminder here, in order to reach that door up where Gobi was at Gobi's Valley at one point, you know, when you coughed up that honeycomb, empty honeycomb out of him, you gotta fly over to that spot. It's right over there. Oh, geez, I just did not. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I did not have my stable footing before I went on the flight pad. Well, I guess you can use the carpet, I suppose. I forgot about that, too. Arg! And come to think of it, I used the carpet to come up here before, too, in an earlier part, didn't I? Man, man, man. <laughs> so, what did we see from a distance? 
Well, there's this, this little button here. You just hit that button, and it opens! It opens! Yes! There it is! Woo! Another one! Heck yeah! Let's take a look-see around the room here, because this is a special room after all that not a lot of people see because they don't know about these codes. So yeah, it's just peeksy peeksy. Yeah, it's not really that special. <laughs> Next location! Boy, those platforms are awkward to get by as a washing machine. You can't really tell where your feet are. Well, I, I, not platforms. It's, uh, um, bridges, I guess you could say. Rock bridges type things. Anyway, Mad Monster Mansion's got the two thingajiggers. Uh, I should say, it has two thingajiggers. So let's take a look-see around here. Now, I don't remember which of the upper windows would allow you to, you know, kind of get yourself over to the- Ooh! The bathroom camera. Camera. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go and explore them here. I'm not going to cut ahead this time because, as I said, I'm not sure which windows they were. And, uh, wait, were they a side window or were they an upper window? Um... I'm just gonna break this one here. This is not the one. <laughs> I'll eventually find the right window, but I'm almost positive it's one of the higher windows, if I recall correctly. And I just did a roll there by mistake. That's what me getting sucked in the ground was. Uh, oh, it wasn't one of the higher ones. Good, because I didn't really want to use the. Yeah, I didn't really want to go and yeah. <laughs> No dialogue banjo? No? Well, okay. Because we've got another one, and this one's much easier to remember where to get. Because you just have to go around the house counterclockwise, and you'll eventually come across the cellar, which I might have to- yeah, I'm gonna have to break it open again. Can I beak barge it open? Yes, I can. Interesting. I thought that I'd always have to slam that down. Alright, so, this right here is the place, and this is the one that's open. Can I, like, show you close up? Yes. <laughs> well, kinda. Oh, there we go! That's actually... Woo! This is where I'm gonna take a peek see around because... Yeah, it's a special room. It isn't like it's just stuck on top of a toilet or anything like that. Alright. Got that one checked off the list. Two more to go. See you in Rusty Bucket Bay, baby. No. Oh. oh! Oh! We're back here again. This place is... Just memories of horribleness. But anyway, I'm looking for the captain's cabin, which I do not ah, I do not remember which of the windows it was. So I'm just gonna be bashing in windows all day long and seeing what I can come up with. Actually, I don't think there's windows on that side. I think they're all on like these thingajiggers over here. Like this is a window that I might be able to bash. So let's see if this is the captain's cabin. Uh, it is not! That is the cruise room! See, this is- because it looks, you know, all these windows and- Oh, jeez, look all the same. It's kind of a- kind of an issue to look around the place. <laughs> you know what, I'm not gonna uh, look around while on camera this time because it's- Eh, it's probably gonna take me a while and there's a lot of landmarks that I can show you when I do find the right place where it is. So, yeah. Cutting ahead. How about this one over here by the boat on the back left side? I can't tell where Kazooie is. <laughs> there it is. Yes. Yes. I got it. I got it. Wonder Washer! Using the powers of cleanliness, I will get out every stain imaginable! Okay, click clock wood. Now, remember to take the winter side. Remember, it is in winter. Do not forget winter, winter, winter. Uh, in fact, I don't even think I'll need to cut ahead here or anything like that, because there's a flight pad relatively nearby, just off to the right side, which will help me get up to the top very quickly, well, unless I'm snowballed to death, thanks to the power of the sewer slushes that are hanging around this area. But, uh, hopefully they will not 
play a very big factor here. So let's get on the flight pad and let's look for our destination. It is up here. Follow the wood pathways. I assume that these are things that Navnut built and whatnot. So here we go. And we are golden. Ah! Go in there before your snowballed banjo kazooie washer thing. And. Um. Way to ruin the moment of having the last egg there. <laughs> it's not acorns, it's an egg, man. Woo! So, that was the last one. There are six eggs, one ice key, as I said, and there they all are. 100% complete! No! Not a lot can say that because. Not a lot of people, you know, really know about all the stuff in the game to get and all the what, what not, and yeah. Now, um, as I said, there's more codes to show off here, but I'm not actually going to do them, because if you enter more than three, I mean, excuse me, if you enter more than two, on the third one, they'll ask if you want to actually enter it, because, um, well... If you should uh, decide to enter any more than two of these special codes at once, believe it or not, it'll actually delete your save file. Yeah, it'll actually warn you about that ahead of time and everything. But uh, yeah, the uh, yeah these special cheat codes here are, are not ones to be taken lightly, and they are probably put in by the developers just so that they could more easily get around the place, you know, so that they could, could test things. A lot quicker and whatnot, but I guess they left them in to uh, just kind of, you know, just be like a little Easter egg of sorts. I don't know how you'd find these codes without, like, maybe looking into the actual game itself. You know, like the hacking into the game and looking into the code of the game and whatnot. But yeah, these are quite the dealios of codes, and if you should decide to do so, do not. Enter more than two at once. Well, at least, you know, you can restart your save file and stuff like that, but uh, that is basically it for the game. Yeah! Can you believe it? I can't believe it. It was, it was a fun road, but alas, alas, it had to end eventually, I guess. And, uh, yeah, so... I guess with that defeat of Big Butt, I'm going to end off the walkthrough here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next walkthrough. Double defeat, and by a washing machine, no less. Hey, you better stay down. Yeah. Yeah, you better stay down. Stop that!